Good morning, my little geniuses. Um, I'm sitting here uh, with my coffee, and I'm in the same pajamas and the same glasses uh, because I worked last night and did the first couple videos, and I woke up this morning, and I'm in the same outfit. But don't worry. I have plenty of pajamas and plenty of glasses. It's going to be like a, a share concert by the time we're done. You're going to be so sick of my stupid pajamas and glasses. Uh, where we left off was we had a click track. And I'm just going to go ahead and play it. I'm just using my little computer audio speakers. So you can see it sounds like crap, right? Just want to show you real quick how to change the click sound if you're going to use the click track. So you click on the click plugin. This is called an insert. And we're going to get to all that. Just don't worry about anything, all the details right now. And you'll see right here we've got a classic click sound. And you'll notice click, click. The first beat has a different sound than the other three beats. So uh, it's also is not reading my the tempo that we chose. Uh, maybe perhaps I need my transport window, and I don't, it was 97. Let me just put that in there. 97, and we're back to the tempo we were at. And now, okay. So that we hate that sound. We want to change it. It's just simple as this. I like. I mean, they're not. There's not really a great shaker sound at all. But it's a shaker. I'm just going to choose shaker three. I don't like a different sound on the first beat and the first three beats. You might like a one, two, three, four. I like just a standard. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, but this, that's a simple, and you don't have, you can save this, so you don't ever have to do this again. So you go right up here and you say, um, stupid head, where did I do it? Oh right here. See, sometimes even I get confused. Save setting as, and here comes the window. Think about it. We're going to call it G Shaker. Bam. So now I have this saved. Whenever I create a click track, I'm going to delete this track. I can go right here and I can go to track delete right there, or I can hold the control key, click on the track, and scroll down until I get to delete. You can see I can also duplicate. So but I'm going to delete this track and boom we have no track. And then I'm going to go back to the track menu and create click track. And I'm going to scroll up to the insert. I'm going to click on it and instead of factory default I'm going to choose now our saved thing for G Shaker. And there we have it. So uh, I think I'm going to stop there and just so you know how to change the shaker sound and post this and move on to uh, e expand and easy drummer. So let's get this posted and we'll move on.